In this video, we'll look at the IntelliJ shortcuts for using panels. Panels in IntelliJ are nothing but windows, which you can see on the left, uh, denoted by project and structure and favorites, and also the windows at the bottom, uh, which is search, run, debug, and so on and so forth. To activate a panel, the shortcut is Alt and the number associated with the panel. So for example, if you see the project, it has the number one written besides it. So if you press Alt 1, it will activate the panel. So the cursor went to the panel and the file was highlighted. If I press Alt 1 again, it will toggle the activation and it will minimize the window. So if I press Alt 1 again, it minimizes the project panel. If I press Alt 1 again, it will open it. Whilst being in this panel, you, if you press Escape, the control will go to the editor. So if I press Escape here, it went the cursor went to the editor window and it works similarly for all the other panels so for example if i am currently at the run panel so i can activate the run panel using alt 4 that opened the panel if i press escape my control went to the editor uh, you cannot see the cursor because it was at the bottom so let's try that again with the cursor at the top if i say alt 4 my cursor is now within the run panel and if I do an escape the control now is at the editor and if I want to toggle the run panel again all I have to do is press alt 4 and that's it so similarly it works for all the other panels and the ones which I use most frequently are the project panel which is alt 1 uh, the run panel which is alt 4 the debug panel which is alt 5 and the version control panel which is all nine and in every case it works the same way if you press escape the control will go to the editor and there is a combination shortcut so if you are at any panel say version control panel I pressed alt 9 if you do a shift escape it will minimize that panel and take the control to the editor so if I do a shift escape it minimized it as well as now you can see the cursor in the editor is now active so we can try that same thing with the project panel also alt 1 it activated the panel if i say shift escape it will minimize it and now the control is in the editor panel intellij also brings its own terminal window so you don't have to leave the ide to work with it and the shortcut to open the terminal which is the pin panel you will find here at the bottom is alt f12 so if you press alt f12 it will open the terminal and it works like any other panel so you can do shift escape and it will minimize it and once you're familiar with all these panels and windows once you're used to it once you remember all the numbers you can press this tiny little icon at the bottom left and what it will do is it will minimize all those titles for the panels and windows and you get that extra 5-10% of real estate which can be helpful especially if you're using uh, small screen devices like laptops. Sometimes the given width of a particular panel is not enough to work with it and this is especially true if you are debugging a project. So let's say I'm in a debugger window. I'll do an Alt 5 which will open a debugger window. Uh, currently it's not running but uh, if there are too many variables listed down here or if uh, there are too many messages to see uh, and this panel size is not enough to do it uh, one way to open up the panel or to maximize its size is to do Control shift up arrow this will uh, step by step maximize the available size of that particular panel and similarly if you want to decrease the size you can see uh, you can do Control shift and down arrow and this works with all the panels so i can do the same with alt 4 which is my run window and i can do Control shift up to increase its size Control shift down to decrease its size i'll minimize it by doing shift escape i can do the same thing with the project panel i can do Control shift and the right arrow because i want to increase the size towards the right and the opposite is Control shift and left arrow and this I have found to be extremely useful when uh, running a project or debugging it. If you have multiple projects open simultaneously in their own separate workspaces. So in my case, I have this project called Coding Practice. And I also have another project called Balaji Machine, which is on a different window. 
and sometimes you want to toggle through the projects and the shortcut for that is alt control and brackets so if you do alt control and closing bracket it will scroll in one direction and go to the next project and if you do alt control and closing opening bracket sorry it will go to the previous one so you can toggle through all the workspaces that you opened within IntelliJ that's it for this video that's all the shortcuts that i typically use with work with panels in intellij in the next video we'll look at how to work with files especially java files thanks for listening